Top 5 reasons not to live in New York. Everyone and yes, everyone wants to move to the Big Apple. It may seem like the city of dreams, but here are the top 5 reasons you probably don't want to call the Empire State home. Number 5 Starting off at reason number 5 is the cost of living is prohibitively high. The cost of living in New York is out of this world. If you are not rolling in the door, you are probably going to have a hard time trying to make ends meet in the Empire State. The cost of living in New York is 25% higher than the national average of the US. A New Yorker has to earn about $123,000 a year to have the same standard of living of a person residing in Houston that makes $50,000. And if you don't plan on living under a bridge or in a park, you can expect inflated housing costs that are 400% above the national average. What many New Yorkers are paying in apartment rent equates to healthy mortgage payments for the rest of the country. Number 4 At number 4 is the reason that there are too many people living there already. With over 19 million souls residing within its borders, New York is the third most populous state in the union. That's a lot of people that all have needs. These folks have to work, be fed, receive medical attention, be protected, etc. The resources of the state simply are failing to accommodate the needs of the people it already has. With so many people living in such close proximity to one another, there are bound to be a host of problems. Number 3. Ah, oh, and at number 3 are the ever-present tourists. There are already 19 million people living in New York. When you add the several million tourists that visit the state each year, the place is just downright crowded. New York's primary industry is tourism. Looked at another way, the state is trying to get more people, a whole lot of more people to visit the state and spend their money there. And spend money they do something in the order of 30 billion dollars. Then because tourism is the most lucrative industry that New York has to offer, residents tend to find that the state caters and has a preference to the needs of tourists over them. Number 2 And then at number 2 is the fact that you can't understand a New Yorker's accent. If you have ever had the privilege of speaking to someone from New York, you probably chalked the experience up to something akin to communicating with an Irish Mongolian. It takes a bit of concentration to actually discern what these folks are saying. Amazingly, in a primarily English-speaking country, the East Coasters have developed a dialect that is wholly and uniquely their own. In fact, trying to figure out what the New Yorkers are talking about is a task in itself. These folks talk and you're like, "Huh?" and blank looks in shoe. So, it might be easier learning Spanish than New Yorkies. Number 1. Topping the list at number 1 are the New York Yankees fans. You either love them or hate them, and many of us fall into the hate them category. The funny thing is is that a lot of people feel this way and don't even follow baseball. Yet Yankee fans tend to come across as obnoxious and overbearing, not particularly warm and fuzzy people that you want to be around. This can be especially irritating when you have to listen to these folks ranting in their New Yorker dialect. Nails on the chalkboard is what it's like. Granted not every person in New York is a Yankee fan, nevertheless there are enough of them with all their Yankee sports regalia and boisterous noise making that can make life unbearable for those that are not a part of their cult.